I, I love seeing the suspension get affected by it, though, but... Oh, my... What the fuck just happened? What? Uh... Okay. What's going on, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers. Once again, in the sandbox mode, and I got this boat on my mind. I can't get it off my mind. It's been... Probably five or so days since I played this, and I've been thinking about making this boat since then. So obviously my brain's not going to let me stop thinking about it, uh, so we are going to try and build it today. Now in the distance, as you can see, I was playing around a little bit trying to figure out the best way to make a boat in this game, and I noticed, obviously the tires are extremely buoyant. I thought I would put them on the bottom and maybe somehow it would float. Didn't work, obviously, but it showcased... How buoyant these tires are. Alright, let me pull it back a little further in here. There we go. It's gonna flip over, but look at how buoyant it is as compared to our first boat. So, obviously, this is what you want to do. I believe a lot of the blocks are actually buoyant. We can probably figure that out by destroying something in the water here. But I know that these wheels are gonna be extremely buoyant. Let's actually go on top of it. Just to make sure it can take our weight, which I'm sure it can. Now, uh, you guys let me know piranhas don't attack you in Sandbox for whatever reason. So thank you for letting me know that. Now I just gotta get on this thing and not kill myself. There we go. Okay, so we are on it. And as you can see, taking my weight just fine. Look at my little legs uh, dealing with the uh, rocking. That's adorable. Anyways, so now we know we can do that. Now I just gotta figure out the best way to build a boat with that in mind. All right, and we are back with one of my old blueprints. Now, we have those engines in the back still, so I wanted to use this just with those engines. Now, we are going to expand on this quite a bit. So what I'm going to do, I think, is kind of make, like, spider legs outside of this thing. I need to make sure it's perfectly in the middle, though. And then I think I'm going to attach some wheels to the edges of those, because obviously the wider we are, the more balanced it's going to be. So we want these wheels far out from our craft here, and uh, yeah, it should, I mean, it's not gonna look pretty, but uh, this is gonna be our first run through, just to make sure it works before we actually start designing something. All right, I changed up the design a little bit, but I think this will be a good starting rudimentary design because I think it's gonna work. So I raised up the bars here so the wheels are a little bit higher off the ground. That way we're not so top heavy like the original design and that would probably just make it flip over. So now it's kind of in the middle of the craft. So hopefully this thing should more or less stay buoyant. Uh, I added a bunch of these arms out to the sides. I think you guys get the idea. Attach wheels to those and hopefully by the end of this, everything is floating and perfect. All right, and the final one. Wait, this one's missing. Okay, good thing I noticed that. Uh, this one's missing one of its things, so we'll just add one more to that. There we go. Now, the final one. Ah, oh, man, I really wish... My one complaint with this game is it tries to understand what you're designing, and the wheels constantly get realigned to being sideways, because obviously that's how wheels are usually supposed to be. It doesn't acknowledge that I'm trying to use them as floaters, more or less. So, there we go. We got this set up. Do we really need anything else? Because we don't technically need engine power, so... Uh, probably will be smart to actually put two engines in the front as well on the little swivel thingies, uh, just to keep the weight stable. I'd love for the first try to work. I don't think it's going to work, though. Cannot build while moving. I'm not moving. Piranhas are just attacking me, damn it. Okay, so let's just get to the edge of the water, because it's too picky. I guess if I'm swimming, I'm considered moving. There we go. Now, hopefully, we can get this thing into the water. So let's try it out. There we go. And, oh, fuck sakes. All right, it's going. It's going. Ho. Oh. Oh. Ho. It's submerged. But it's working. Oh, look at this. Okay, my turning is not working as I expected. But holy shit. It's actually going really good. It's extremely stable. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to work on this turning, though. But <laughs> I can't believe this. It's somewhat submerged, so we do have to lower those wheels a little bit. But, guys, we made a boat already. That's, uh, that's pretty damn impressive for me. All right, let's, let's, let's go to the beach here and improve this boat a little bit before we sink this poor thing. Oh, I want to see how fast I can go now. It actually does sh show our speed, which is pretty damn cool. Okay, uh, I don't want to look at the wall game. There we go. Now we're good. 
All right, guys, I just had a crazy plan. We can actually put suspension, at least I hope so. Can we attach this little brick? Yes, you can. We can put suspension on our floaters, and therefore any waves that we hit will obviously be, hopefully, dealt with. So I, th I think that's going to be really cool to even try just to see if it actually works. But we're going to have a little suspension bars around the whole thing, and it's truly going to look like a spider now. So... Now I gotta reattach all these damn wheels, but at least they're gonna have suspension. All right, now that inside buoyancy isn't really needed, I'm going to lower the sides once again, and uh, I think this is gonna look pretty damn cool. So we got the suspension arms in place. They should hopefully work. I don't see why they would have any problems. They might break under the pressure. That would be my only worry. Uh, now we just need to add a small line all the way around this thing. And I'm going to work a little bit more on designing this thing. To, I kind of want to make it look like a weird-ass speedboat. Kind of like a futuristic speedboat. So we'll see if we can actually do that. And hopefully this helps with the churning a little bit. I'm going to uh, expand out my rockets here. They're going to be one on each side. I still know I'm going to strafe left and right instead of actually churning. So I might take the front ones off of the churning platforms later on. We'll just try this for right now and see how it is. Uh, but yes, that's not looking too bad. We're going to, again, lower these walls, I think. I want... I, I, I don't want to have too much boat. Again, we want to be nice, thin, small, very speedboat-like, and I think that should look pretty damn cool. All right, finally, I'm kind of content with the design, so I have refined it quite a bit. Uh, again, I'm really going for the spider design now. I'm kind of liking the look of it. I'm excited to see how this suspension will work, if it will do anything, because this uh, water is pretty damn flat. Uh, I know I still gotta work on the actual steering issue, so hopefully we can do that in the near future. Oh, I love seeing that! Uh-oh. Oh, please don't tell me that was just because it was a bad landing. I, I love seeing the suspension get affected by it, though, but... Oh my... What the fuck just happened? What? Uh... Okay, you know what? This is definitely not a safe beach. I'm just gonna swim over to the next one. Oh yeah, I'm, I have my floaty thing. Let's just use that. There we go, look at that. Okay, that was a bit aggressive. Oh, I think it's too top-heavy, guys. Oh, this is so gonna bother me, because I didn't, I didn't expect that to be an issue anymore, now that we have such a wide thing for our wheels, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not looking good. It is not. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait. What? Oh, I think it's too heavy now. I mean, Ooh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I put too much weight on this thing, didn't I? It kind of works. It's just so unstable now. I'm gonna try a quick fix here. We're going to double up the wheels on all of the nodes here, and it might not look very good. I can't even tell because I'm so high up. Oh, that looks so cool. You know what? I kind of want to try... Oh, I don't even have an engine in it. That's right, so I can't really drive it up here. We're going to go over here, and bam, there we go. Now, let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, fir first hit. Uh, kind of expected to go underwater. Ooh, this is looking good now. Okay, let's try this thing out. There we go. Again, we got to work on that, but uh, at least it's kind of working. The problem is the jets are so high up now, as you can see. When I hold them, it pushes in the water, and then it does that. So definitely the jet placement was a mistake. We're going to fix that up. Uh, thankfully, we're buoyant enough now to kind of have this craft, and it's still actually working. So let's get back to work here and drop these jets down, I guess, once again. All right, working on the back end here, uh, I got two jets down, much lower now, as you can see. Actually, three jets, if you consider that random one there. But uh, I think I'm going to have a three-jet system anyways. And two are going to steer. We'll see if that works. Oh, oh, God. Okay, just got to get it inside there. And then one's just going to chill, hopefully, in the middle here. There we go, just like that. I'm hoping these things have enough clearance to actually steer. But that's what I wanted. I, I wanted all my power nice and low. Uh, we might run into issues having all the power in the back as well. We'll find out in a second here. But I'm liking the look of this. I'm really liking the look of this now. We can actually change the front end a little bit later on as well. Uh, maybe open the whole thing up. But uh, let's try this out and see what happens. All right. Drop it into the water. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm actually... I can't steer it. Oh, it works way better though. But I can't... Did I, did I forget to put the, the rotating things on? If I did, my bad. 
Okay, I did put the rotating things on. I think these blocks might be connected to another block, though. So let me see. Connection points on that. Oh, it's connected to the side here. This is going to run into an issue, too, because I need this side block for my suspension. I guess I could rotate it upwards. I don't know why they don't have just a one-blocked cube. There's no one-blocked cube. All right, let's try this thing out. Get off of the ground. There we go. You can see it kind of works. Not really. I mean, it's, it's actually bending the whole frame here, and I just realized I have no way to actually reverse, but... Oh, we can utilize this to actually reverse. I'm amazed this isn't breaking the craft, but I can kind of squish my engines back. And, oh, that's what I wanted. Okay, the steering, it's definitely not that reactive. Ooh, you can see the suspension there when it hit the land. That was pretty damn hilarious. Okay, we're just going to literally fry my head off here and try and get into the open water. Uh, this is not made for, you know, precise steering, but holy shit. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And the problem is, any any time I try and churn, the jets are obviously pushing it that way too. So it's more strafing than actually churning. So we might need to figure out a different method to steer this thing, which I have no idea how to do. I mean, it does work. You just need a lot of room to steer it that way. And then you start going that direction. And of course, as you can see, things like this happen. <laughs> All right, but you can, as you can see, like, go right sideways, and if you really need to steer it, it does work. It's just not that good. Thankfully, I'm, I'm like a boat version of a bumper car. I Even if I hit things, at least I'm just hitting them with wheels, and it doesn't really affect me at all, as you can see. All right, there we go. Now we're into the open. I'm going to try and ramp this thing. I don't think it's going to happen. I got too much friction on this thing, but out into the open waters. That's what I made this thing for. So let's go and do that. Ooh, I almost broke off my front wheel. Okay, well, simple as uh, just getting across this. And you can see there's like islands out here, so I'm, j I'm more curious of exploring with this thing. Uh, it seems stable enough, so we're gonna bring this over here. There we go. Everything's good to go. Maybe I should add a bit more propulsion on it before we leave on our grand venture here. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, we do have room on the sides for like rockets, for example, and I think... That's not going to add too much weight if we add two more rockets. All right, you know what? Bigger's better. Let's add uh, four rockets. How about that for a grand total of seven? Now, I'm going to try and keep the power evenly dispersed throughout the craft. So we're going to spread out these engines just a little bit. That way, hopefully, the front end doesn't get pushed down from the sheer speed of this thing. So there we go. You can actually... I just realized you can configure these things as well. Can you actually do it yet? No. Oh, space. Uh, oh, just the button to use to use it. So if you don't know, that's the button you need to press to get the engines to work. But there we go. We got, I mean, look at that thing from the back. That is, that is a true speedboat. If I've ever seen one, it doesn't look like a speedboat at all. All right. It's in the right direction. Let's enter the seat here and, oh yeah, we can even push right off the land now and into... There we go, we're floating. You can see we definitely needed those double wheels because it's basically using all the wheels here. Let's see if we can full throttle it. Okay, it does have a little bit of push towards the front as you can see. Uh, yeah, we're not even going that fast, shit. All right, I realized I did more good than bad when I added those engines on. So we're going to take those things off. That way we have a reverse gear and we don't have so much forward thrust. We'll see if that can help it. Also, in the back, maybe we should put some downforce in the back to keep the back end up, because that's how you want a boat to work anyways. So I think, yeah, we're going to put a spoiler right in the back over here. You know what? We can probably put a big-ass double spoiler all the way across this thing, and it's going to look ridiculously stupid, and that's how I want it. Oh, shit, it's going to connect to my engines, though, and that's something I definitely don't want. So we're going to have to fine-tune this build a little bit and just add a little bit more to it, and then we should be good. All right, there we go. Just a bar across with a, a double spoiler on it. I'm hoping that's not too much weight in the back. We'll find out real quick, though. There we go. And get it out to the ordinary water. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We're not getting hit in the front now. We're still going about the same speed with all the engines on, and my steering doesn't really work. But that's 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 been the whole pro problem the whole time. And just what I wanted, I actually wanted to be able to see out of my boat. That's why I lowered the walls when we do drive it. As you can see, we can totally do that. This is so cool. I don't know what steering's doing. Oh, God, what's going on with the, with the, with the engines? Let's uh, go back to that. Oh, shit. What? 
What just happened? What? I'm so... Okay, we're just going to, uh... I... Jesus! And now piranhas are attacking me. Okay, can I please get my car back? Uh, press backspace to respawn. Oh! Literally back here. Thanks, game. All right, and there we are. Oh, this thing looks amazing. I love it. It's like a little race car from the sea. Actually, before we leave, let me get the hell out of this thing because we need to fix my steering. Oh, that's why I forgot to get rid of this damn block. So that's why it was connected. The whole point of this back thing was to not connect this to that. So they should be totally disconnected now and they should kind of work as steering. Let me actually see, does it? Oh yeah, there we go. You can see we got the steering now and that is much better. Oh, look at it guys, it is so <laughs> cool looking. I love this design. I mean, I understand there's probably people building way better things than me, but I'm having fun, damn it. And that's what gaming is all about. Uh, so yeah, now I kind of want to see if we can maybe add wings to this thing. I don't think we'll do that in this episode, but maybe make like a... I mean, ultimately, I would love all three in one. A, a land vehicle, a boat, and a plane all in one. So if I can somehow do that with this creation, I think that would be pretty fun. I totally think we can do it with the wheels, though. We might be able to rotate uh, the four side ones sideways and allow them to actually be driven as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting some ideas already on how to improve this. The wings, I think we're just going to need more speed uh, to actually get some lift here. Or we could have like a VTOL as well. We could definitely make a quadcopter with this design because we already basically got the side things mounted and we could just put some helicopter blades on top. I mean, there's so much you can do. And I, I, I'm, I'm just racking my brain on what I want to do. Right now what I want to do though is go out to one of these islands and see if there's actually anything there. So we're going a stable 30. Uh, I don't know if that's miles, kilometers, whatever. Uh, and we'll see if we can make it there. I highly doubt we can, but if we can make it to new land, that would be amazing. Alright, we're officially in the deep sea, guys. You can see the ground below us getting extremely deep. Behind us, you can still kind of see the land, but uh, we're definitely getting some distance on it, mind you. Oh, wait, is this thing... Where'd it go? There was a huge island here, I swear. I can kind of see it still, but I think it's going to slowly vanish and it's not actually there. What the hell? Oh, shit. Okay, there's the other island. Maybe we should go over to that. I don't even remember seeing that. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It looks peaceful. It looks like it's like the Trailmaker's Haven. We got crazy dark shit over there. And in the distance, the beautiful purple-blue island. It's probably going to be very anticlimactic when we get there, but it looks like it's an actual island, so I didn't expect that. I thought it'd just be like a backdrop or something uh, that Bella put in to add a little bit more depth into the game. It's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's an island, so we can kind of explore it. I'm going to assume there's not much to this island, though. Regardless, naval exploration is always fun, and finding new islands is always an interesting experience, especially in a game where you're not really supposed to go out to these islands. I mean, I'm assuming they kind of want you to make boats and do these type of things, but uh, the main island is all over there. It's been an amazing voyage, guys, and we are about to touch land. It looks like there's actually two mountains here. Actually, the back mountain looks fucking huge. Like, I didn't expect this at all. This front one looks pretty small. I'm hoping there'd be, like, at least some parts out here. Maybe some secret parts or something. They should really add that, you know? They, they should add a, a bunch of secret stuff on the sandbox map that you can collect. Uh, so you can make your vehicle a little bit better. But we did make it out to here. It doesn't look like there's much depth in these uh, islands here. It's actually very pixelated and voxely to be expected. I mean, it's meant to look to be looked at from the distance here. This one we're just going to skip. We're going to go back to the bigger one because that one actually looks interesting. All right, land ho. We will land on this one. There's actually more mountains in the distance as well. I'm amazed. I thought there'd be, you know, just an invisible wall out here somewhere. It doesn't seem like there's actually one yet. I'm assuming there's got to be one by the edge of the map, but uh, I didn't expect the map to go on this far, so this is really cool. We'll definitely go explore this mountain, but I'm going to say there's probably nothing here. I would love to see something here, though. Uh, let's land on, I guess you could call this a beach. I mean... It's, it's, it's kind of pixelated, but it, it, it's, it's the color of beach. There we go. We've made it, ladies and gentlemen, to a new world. Uh, oops, I always do that. Uh, it's re re really confusing using Q to get out of a vehicle. So 
Uh, see if we can actually climb this world here. Gotta kind of use my jetpack to my advantage here. And, uh, yeah. New worlds don't got much to them, I guess. Oh, hey, look. There's uh, two planets colliding in the background here. That's that's totally depressing. There's probably people dying on there. But uh, you know what? At least it's not me. Oh, getting kind of stuck inside here. We just got to make it to the top. I need to consider this Mount Dragas. All the way to the top of this thing. Ah. <sighs> We did it, guys. We explored new lands. Is this considered? Oh, okay, that one's considered the top over there. We need to go over to this one. We need to be at the true top. I deem this Mount Dragast. I really wish I could put a flag down. That, that would be awesome. Uh, looks like, ooh, is that the edge of the map right there? I'm assuming that is. You can see kind of that hard line there, which would make sense. It's behind all the backdrop stuff. We do have one small, I guess it's kind of connected to this mountain over there, but uh, I think you guys get the idea. These mountains don't really got too much to them. Regardless, we did it, guys. We made a boat. The boat... Holy shit, what the hell happened to my laser? I guess when you get too high, it doesn't really have a beam anymore. Ah, uh, but yeah, we made it, guys. We, we went on a voyage, and we made it to a new world. Where the hell's my boat? There's my boat. Look how small it is. You don't really notice how big this island is until you see... The size of your boat. It looks like it's slowly drifting off. Well, that was an interesting experience, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, building our first boat in the game. A speed boat, if you will. The spider speed boat. I'm gonna call it that. that, that, that that's, a, that's a tongue twister. And yeah, guys, let me know if you like this design. I definitely do want to build more onto it. Uh, the quadcopter should be pretty easy to do, uh, considering we basically already have that set up. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do with this design, or if I should build something to totally new in the next episode as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one.